y'all i'm akila in today's video i actually wanted to um add a moss pole to my mini monstera here um actually you know what's so funny is that i had a video when i first got this monstera that was supposed to be my first youtube video and uh i lost half the video trying to do editing i'm terrible at editing i'm trying my best to get better at it but i actually ended up losing half of the front end of the video so i ended up just posting just the second half of the video as as a little TikTok, whatever but the backstory that i shared in that video was that i got this particular plant on the clearance rack at my local lowe's for like 10 bucks um because it has well it had worse it, it had a lot of uh damage to a lot of the leaves um and it was just looking really really on its last little leg and i brought it home and in the video that i lost um i repotted this uh this plant um, gave it some new soil. I pruned off a lot of the old uh, leaves that were pretty much dead. And we just have a few that um, I didn't feel were bad enough to, to actually remove. Um, so maybe two or three on here. But since then, I have like a new leaf here. Um, this is actually the first leaf I've gotten um, since she's been in this new pot right here and stuff. So I'm really excited, but I realized right away that, you know, she needs, these plants love to climb. And this little stick that I have, little stake that I have here is just not going to cut it. So I purchased this moss pole it's actually a bendable moss pole which i'm really excited about because i have moss poles but none of them are bendable like this one so i am pretty excited to be adding this one to my uh mini monstera or raffidoro tetrasperm is the actual name um of this plant uh believe it or not it's not even in the monstera family um it's from the Raffidoro family and tetrasperm is the actual species of that of that um particular family of plants um and it only has that nickname because the leaves resemble or have slits in it like um monstera plants so it's more like a nickname for the plant the mini monstera but it's not even a monstera Anyway, these are fast growing plants is what I've been told. Um, like I said, I only have one leaf here since she's been in this pot a few weeks. Um, but these are fast growing plants. Um, they're pretty fairly easy to take care of. Um, they enjoy um, bright light, but not direct sunlight. Um, and uh you can keep them evenly moist that's what's suggested um but they're very tolerant to you know water drought so you can wait till the soil almost dries out before you water it again and she tolerates that just fine i say she because all my plants i call <laughs> girls um and her name i named her Minnie. so Minnie is getting a new moss pole today. So if you are interested in seeing how I do that, stick around. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. So we're going to get started. So um, first I want to talk about is the soil I will be using. Some of this is some leftover soil from when I actually repotted this plant last. Um, but I'm using some regular organic potting soil and i have a little orchid bark in here i have a small amount of perlite and a smaller amount of worm castings um in here so that's pretty much the mix i'm going with today um uh if i had some uh uh 
charcoal that would be great to add to this but um this is it this is actually will do this plant just fine so i'm just going to mix this up here it's pretty much a good chunky mix with a lot of um well draining components to it and worm castings is actually adding a little you know fertilizer nutrition to the soil so this is what we'll be using um for this plant so let's get started so um like i said this plant has not been in this pot for very long and i'm not really gonna take it all the way out at least I don't plan to, um, but uh, I may have to once I open up this moth pole to see if it has a stake at the end of it, which it looks like it doesn't. A stake, I would be able to just push it down up in here, but it's looking... Uh, from the picture is looking like you don't have one of those. So what I'm doing right now is just taking the twine a loose so I can remove this stick that I have in here that's way too short. So here's the plant sitting up here without anything supporting it. Now, again, what I was saying about these type of plants, these type of plants love to climb. You know, when they are in their natural habitat, the forest, they're climbing. And so they do really well climbing. And as they climb, you want to give them something to climb because not only that gives them a place to go, but um, the leaves get bigger. You know, they get bigger as they climb. So people use moss poles or, you know, a trellis. Oh, let's see this. Oh, it does have like a little stake at the end here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to use some twine that I might be able to repurpose. So we like repurposing. So, anyhow, um, I don't have any nails, so this is a uh, taking unnecessary time. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I'm excited because oh, and then it came with some extra little moss. Isn't that cute? And that's just to keep it fresh. Oh, wait, look. Oh, wait, it's two. What? Oh, it is two. I didn't even know this. Well, this is wonderful to know. Okay. This is actually perfect. So, it's bendable. Look at that. And it does have a little stake at the end, so I'll be able to actually push this down in here. Um, I shouldn't need to actually take the whole plant out, which I thought I was going to have to do. So, um, I'm just going to stick this bad boy down up in here. Let's see how the picture is. The picture, they have it all, I'm not going to have the picture all twisted up like that. So, how do I get my... Uh, moss pole to look like that. Ooh, you see it? You see it? Oh, 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 y'all see it? Okay, so we're just gonna stick this right down in the back here. This is easier than I thought it was gonna be. I really thought I was gonna have to take this thing out. Um, and put the stake 
I mean, the moss pole all the way down to the bottom. But it feels pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. Um, so I don't think I'll have to add anything. I may add just a tiny bit just to um, make sure it's really secure, which I think it is. Um, okay, so we can actually repurpose the twine. I can't believe it actually came with moss, extra moss. How cute. Bendable real moss handmade. Easy to bend, natural color. But uh, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, and I love that it came with two. I didn't realize that. And it came with some twine here. So I'll actually just cut the size that I need like that. And my scissors are right here. This is terrible, but yeah. Um, so. Gonna go ahead and just tie a few pieces on here. Okay, so if I can get my fingers on here right. Uh, actually, I really think that that's pretty much, I mean, like I said, it was way more easy, easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, Cause I didn't have to take it out the pot here. So that's pretty much it. Um, if I can fix my camera right, you can see it. This is pretty much my mini monster, a Raffidoro tetrasperm, um, on its bendable moss pole, which I'm in love with. I just love this little pole. Um, and it's not very thick. It's like a one inch, um, diameter most moss poles are like two inches or two and a half inches which are pretty thick this is um actually a one inch diameter uh moss pole and it comes with real moss extra moss um it came two in the pack and it's bendable i think my uh tetris farm is gonna love this and uh, I'm excited to see what happens from this point. But she's very adorable. And um, yeah, a very easy plant to take care of, like I mentioned before. Um, just thoroughly water it. You can let it dry out a bit before watering again. She will tolerate that. She enjoys bright sunlight. Um, she enjoys humidity. You know, if you have a humidifier, she would be happy to uh, benefit from that. I also missed, missed her because I miss a lot of my plants on a daily basis. But she's one of the plants that I do miss, you know, a couple of times a uh, day a week and um that's pretty much it you know thank you for watching my channel um i am trying to get better and better about 
you know, just sharing things that I'm interested in. Um, but I'm open to suggestions. If there's anything I know that I need to work on my lighting and I need to work on the camera setup here. Um, but uh, aside from that, or if you have any comments about that, I'm, I'm open to any and all comments. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, this video, um, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.